Welcome back to this map. I have all the game modes enabled this time, so hyper mode, hurry mode, and this new mode I unlocked called Limit Break, which apparently lets me upgrade past my max? I'm not sure of the full details, but it definitely seems interesting. And of course, I'm returning to try to get that secret, uh, the, the flaming balcony. Must arrive with two friends and pure hearts. I took the arcana that uh, gives me extra friends for my friends. So now the birds have extra birds, which is cool. Do I need wings in addition to birds? Hopefully not. Duplicator is already on the map, so I'll let it go. Hey, it's the blue gun. Blue gun apparently has a friend too. Do I get to see it? Hmm, maybe, maybe this extra stuff being fired is tough to tell. Either way, I thought this would be a fun challenge. I gotta figure out exactly what it takes to make it to the balcony, but I have a lot on my mind right now. First, the limit break. I don't know what that's gonna mean as far as upgrades go. I don't know if I'll be able to get like 9 upgrades for a weapon, 10, 11, infinite, or it said permanent, so I'm curious about how that comes into play. I guess we'll all find that out here. Next is the secret itself. So, I've been thinking, you know, in the previous run, I wasn't able to find a flaming balcony. I was able to find regular balconies, you know, kind of like this one, actually. So what if I take the balcony and set it on fire? Also, gotta take the heart. Like, what if I show up with my friends, some sort of fire, and set flame to the balcony? So it's a weirdly named balcony. It's like knowing that it's gonna be set on fire, even though it hasn't been set on fire yet. It will be in the future, which I mean, you know, respect for that. Knowing what your balcony is gonna be used for, it's very important. Uh, other idea is that... Well, it, actually, the, this listen into two ideas. How exactly do I set it on fire? Is it the fire wand? But then I'm like, it fires at a random enemy. Unless if this balcony is my enemy, which in a way it kind of is. It's a challenge I have to conquer. If I wouldn't really consider it an enemy, then I would maybe have to go fire wand and fire at the balcony. Or, if you look at the mini-map here, at the very top, you can see the spicy meatball. Or if you pick it up, you start spewing fire in any direction you choose. So maybe that could be used on a balcony. I don't know. That's an idea anyway. We'll see if I get to find it out. Because I'm on hurry mode, I have only 15 minutes of real time to actually get there. But I think I'll have time for everything. I still want to get six weapons and then get duplicator first. Because I think my most important thing I can do right now is just make sure I have proper damage for some of these later enemies. It's probably only going to get tougher and tougher. Oh, bracelet. This is new. Fires three projectiles at a random enemy. Curious, I'll take it. It's kind of hard to tell. Does anyone see any bracelets? I don't know, but I mean, I assume it can fire anywhere, kind of like in the same way that the lightning ring can just zap enemies at any parts of the screen. Oh, I do want spinach. Gladly increase my damage everywhere. Be important to level up everything, but hopefully I have time to do so. It's, it's gonna be, certainly be tough, no doubt. But yeah, this new character you may have noticed has a new weapon. I mean, it's been obvious by now. I got the Vento Sacro. Fires projectiles. It's like winds or something. It's like you're punching with wind or uppercutting or... I don't know, something like that. It's cool. It fires pretty quickly. It's like a lot of stuff in quick succession. I think I'm also going to make my way down to Duplicator just so I can get ready to collect it when the time comes. I think it'd be smart to stay in one spot eventually. Also, give me that chest. Oh, baby, a triple. Love to see it. Three upgrades for the time spent of one. And right now, there's actually not many enemies, so I'm going to spend my time mostly just going down. And it's just to the right now, so I'm not going to collect it again until I have the proper number of weapons. Oh, I don't even get blue gems, or I don't even get green gems most of the time. Sometimes it's just blue gems. Let's go spinach. More 10% base damage. Just become a 10% better man. Or woman. It's actually tough to tell with this pixel art, so what can I say? The eyeball could drop a chest. Please do that for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And it feels like actually the enemies are a little bit tougher right now, so I probably should focus on getting a little bit better. That gladly goes spinach. Just probably one of the best things I can get. Oh, another triple. Let's go. Got some bird upgrades. Love to see it. And 1,600 coins just casually. That's a wonderful bonus to be getting. Yeah, so birds are probably my main damage, along with this funny, punchy weapon. It is quite fun. Let's go base damage higher. Although, eventually, I'm going to have to start collecting items. So, I should go back to think about what items I want, right? I mean, I want Empty Tome. I want... Uh Bracer. Do I want Spellbinder? For birds, right? Surely birds have Spellbinder synergy, right? I think so. I want Pomerola too. So Empty Tome, Pomerola, and what? I mean, maybe I'll just take Tirigasu to evolve the guns eventually, but I wouldn't want to accidentally evolve them. And plus, if they evolve, then I may not get to see higher levels of the weapon if that's how it works, which is a huge if. We'll see. 
Okay, but once again, I'm actually able to do pretty decently against the enemies. It's still tough, though. I mean, they're costing a little bit of HP, but I'm willing to take a bit of HP with this character since my, most of my damage is just dealt by socking it to them. Getting up close and personal, facing them and punching. It can only punch to the sides, it would seem. And it has gotten to level 8, so if I am able to evolve it with the stuff I have, we'll find out shortly. My guess is no. I don't know what would even evolve it, though. Maybe if I'm lucky, it's like Hollow Heart or Pomerola or something that I already plan on taking. Maybe it's Empty Tome. I don't know what you would evolve a punching uh, with, though. Maybe Bracer. And another chest. Let's see. Do I have an evolution? Triple again? What is this run? Oh, my God. Oh, well, love to see it, especially the spinach upgrade. That's a wonderful thing, wonderful addition to my collection. Absolutely owning enemies now. Occasionally running into them like an absolute fool, but I'll, I'll get that HP back because I see that chicken on the floor. I know that I can get my HP back pretty reasonably. And once I get Pomerola, I can get a lot of HP gaining as well. Still, though, oh, I'm slowing down a bit now. These enemies are suddenly tougher. Well, there's a chest on the ground. This will certainly help. What the fuck is this run? Bro, I have to keep reacting because I think the game knows that I have to keep reacting. It's like, well, if you're not going to be impressed, then we're not going to keep giving it to you. I am impressed. Keep giving it to me, please. Maybe I should consider going armor just so I can be a little bit more tanky, but that's, that's cowardice. The best defense is a good offense, so I want to have that good, good offense just shred the enemies before they can deal with me. I mean, these are tanky. These are some tanky motherfuckers. I'm really struggling with it. I mean, to be fair, I haven't really gotten too much good stuff. I focus on low-level birds, which aren't even that good before getting Pichon. At least I can get Ebony Wings to level 8. That's halfway decent there. And I'm barely shredding these, but I mean, it is close. It is close, close. Hey, got any more of them triple chest? No, about taking Arcana. Anything good here? Uh, Gold Fever, the regen HP is okay. Plus the revivals could be good. It seems like one of those things that just kind of makes sense. Spend a revive, get a stat buff. I, I don't know why I would ever do otherwise. Go eight the Sparrow. Still haven't seen any red gun. And yeah, I don't think I need gold fever. I'll just happen to stumble on some chickens from time to time. I gotta say though, the uh, Blackbird has some powerful stuff, especially with the accompaniment. I'll take Pichon too. I'm almost halfway through the game. So this is concerning that I have not really come close to doing what I want to do, but I'm sure I'll make it up eventually actually i could start targeting this enemy come on baby a triple ah first triple in a while i mean i can't complain this game has been too kind for me for too long it's only fair that i get <laughs> bounced back to earth now and this is actually a really tough swarm of enemies but also a pretty good xp farm i'm gonna look for stuff i can actually help level up with Maybe I should just, like, take Crown. If I plan to get a bunch of upgrades, then I should be taking Crown. So then I'm looking for exactly Pomerola and Empty Tome. Well, that can do. Or I'll just upgrade my birds, I suppose. Because I've only one reroll left. I gotta be smart with it. And I'm getting a ton of stuff right now. So let's go Bracelet. Yeah, I'm getting a ton of XP. This is a wonderful farming minute when I have this level of damage. I mean, hot damn. More bracelet passes through enemies. So it is a projectile that physically exists rather than just something that rains down from above like lightning ring. However, I cannot happen to see this projectile. It's easy to miss. Come on, show me something good here. Hey, I got empty tome. All right, just, just the uh, red heart left. Now I got these green enemies. Hopefully they're not too tough. Oh, they're pretty tough, but they are pretty slow, so I can bob and weave, weave and bob through them. I'm so close to getting Duplicator. Just give me the red heart so I can get Duplicator and massive power spike. And oh, this is wonderful too. Maybe I don't have too much to worry about. I should be concerned about my birds though. If I level it up too far, I won't be able to, or I'll, I'll evolve them. And that may potentially be bad for the balcony. Potential. Let's just go Bracer and look for Pomerola. I may have to start like... Skipping and banishing, especially if I can't find a red gun. Well, empty tome's nice at least. That's a wonderful power spike and might be what I need. Oh, it's red gun. That's excellent. So now I just will only have stuff like Pomerola pop up. Let's go, red gun. And it's accompaniment. Now there's some golden knights and there's a big, big green knight, which will surely drop a triple chest. And there's no way it could possibly drop anything else for any reason. Surely not. Give me the empty tome. Hey, it's Pomerola. I can power spike now. Really quick, though, I see a chest on the ground and a little bit of XP before I go get that duplicator. Oh, <laughs> I actually got a triple. Let's go. Oh, baby. 
and I'll take that bracelet. Maybe I can get that up to level 8 to have some exciting stuff happen. But there's still so much XP on the ground. I don't want to leave this, but now I can start making my way up. This has been a wonderful, wonderful power spike. Make it to the duplicator and then to the spicy meatball. If I can make it through these enemies. They're pretty tough, not gonna lie. Alright, give me this. Hell yeah. Huge power spike. Second upgrade would be massive. How can one upgrade be so, so good? I think I have all I want. Plus a little HP regen with Pomerola too. I think I'm going to start making my way up. There might have been some chickens I left on the way. Come on, I'm coming up on it. Where are you, chickens? Come out, you chickens. I paused right as I saw one. And there we go. Okay, I can still go for one more. And actually, these enemies are starting to kick my ass again. What can I say? It's brutal. Yeah, give me this other chicken. I thought I'd be getting more XP. Let's, let's make it up. I also have not been swarmed by Reapers this time. Probably because of all these other game modes, which... Okay, I guess. I respect it. Well, bigger enemies have showed up. I don't know if that's a good thing. Probably not a good thing, because I probably suck against them. But at least I can get some free upgrades over here. A little crown, which doesn't matter, because I don't get to XP. Revive, which may be a little bit. Let's see if I can make my way over to that spicy meatball. Uh, how high up is it? Pretty high. I left a chest on the ground. I will have to double back there after the spicy meatball. I'm willing to tank or revive. I actually don't care. Let's see, it should be around here. Here it is. Let's see if this works, huh? Oh! Whoa! It did work. And I vacuumed everything towards me? What did I pick up? Oh, this is new. The buy bracelet. As opposed to the gay bracelet. Fires three projectiles at a random enemy? Actually, I don't know what the deal is with that. But I'm getting absolutely swarmed. Let's try to get out of here with the spicy meatball, huh? Oh, this thing is a damage king. And the I think it's the evolved bracelet? But I can upgrade it more. Ooh, I would still prefer Empty Tome, though, not gonna lie. I'll get that buy bracelet later. And now I may just stay in one spot, depending on how much I can absolutely farm. Well, cool, I got there. I'm not sure exactly what got me there, but I covered all my bases, and that's what really matters. Um, some projectiles explode when they expire. Could be good. Or, oh, Mad Groove is probably nice. It'd be, it'd be good to actually get everything attracted towards me. Yeah, that way I don't have to go chasing. So let's do that instead. I'll take some Spellbinder and just... Uh, get some good stuff like chests and XP and vacuums. Nice. Got the bird evolution. The union. Sorry. Got a spellbinder here. And Vandalier is always wonderful to get. I could just lock in Laurel, though. I don't want to lock in Laurel, actually. Yeah, so now I can go get stuff like Empty Tome. And then maybe Crown, since I'm about to get a bunch of XP. Maybe the Buy Bracelet. That's pretty new. Level up Laurel, because eventually I'll want to collect the things that will level it up. I'll just take more... Oh god, this is all too fast. I can barely keep up mentally. Go Spellbinder again. Awesome stuff here. I think I will leave the uh, evolution stuff on the ground for now. Go for more Laurel. Moral, if you will. And actually, I guess it's every one minute real time that I get cool stuff. Take more Buy Bracelet and vacuum it all. Delicious. Take some XP since I'm about to get a ton of XP. Give me another revival so I never see this again. More XP gain. I'm feeling it. And a treasure with another triple. What the hell is this run? It's one of those blessed runs. I wonder if this game has some rubber banding. Because before recording this, I had a run that lost like really, really early. So maybe that's like the game taking pity on me. I don't know if rubber banding is the right word to describe it. But that's how I'm going to describe it anyways. Okay. Laurel's high. So I guess I'll grab the dark powers to protect the bearer. And try to deal with this enemy. This is a really interesting run. I still don't know exactly what Limit Break does. Maybe that's just something I'll find out after? I'm not sure. But I swear I remember seeing an icon of a triple bracelet. And I'm not crazy like... Ah, oh, fuck. Isn't this the good boy ring, though? Like, I already summoned the Elite, so I might as well collect it. Actually, I don't know if that's a good idea, because it might get upgraded. Or I might be offered upgrades for it when I want to be offered upgrades for other things. Whatever, this is the maximum upgrade for buy bracelets, so... I guess we'll find out at the end of the game how it's doing DPS-wise, because I can't see what it is. I will take Vandalier, and then I'll start desperately looking for uh, arrow upgrades. There we go. Yes, arrow upgrades. Evolve the Laurel. Okay, just a little red gun then, so be it. There's an egg on the ground. How about I get some more arrows? More arrows. Oop, got stuck there for a second. More arrows. Give me the egg. Nice, a little bit of armor. Just a touch of armor. And a vacuum. See what I can get. More arrows. More vandalier. I think I still prefer even over arrows. Yeah, vandalier over arrows for right now. 
But next chest on the ground, I think I'll just let be. I do see an egg to do. Chase down the egg. And I see an egg up above. Don't know how the enemy got killed, but I'm not complaining. And hopefully I do get a chance to actually see some more elites. Push more chests. That'd be perfect. But yeah, like I said, I'll leave it on the ground to evolve the laurel. Hey, it's the cool elite. Everything about this map is really cool. Yeah, just let that be. And hopefully it doesn't get accidentally sucked towards me without me being aware. And then I'll run over it. That would certainly stink if I accidentally collected it too early. But I swear, I don't remember seeing the bracelet saying it uh, was evolved by anything in particular. I wonder if it just evolved itself. If that's the case, that's pretty badass. Self-sufficient bracelet. Don't need no man in its life. Just evolves on its own. Give me more Pomerola. Just trying to get that out of the upgrade pool. Oh, a second chest. Well, I could uh, evolve the gun. So I still could leave that on the ground. And there we go. Metalogio left and treasure chest here. Oh, what the hell? Triple bracelet. Okay, I'm not crazy. There is a triple bracelet. Okay, well, give me the damn evolved laurel. There we go. <laughs> Good thing I saved those chests. Well, sick. Does that have its own set of upgrades then? It does. It has another six. I will still take evolved birds over it. Cool. Dude, what a sick weapon. It, it just levels up so much. Maybe there's a quad bracelet. And it just simply keeps going. I still can't tell what it is. I guess it'd be nice to have some sort of character that actually starts with the bracelet. So I can more easily pick it out among all these other weapons that all do their own interesting things. And there we go. Guns are up. If there happens to be another chest, I would get to evolve those. But try bracelets all the way up too. Now I guess I'm just upgrading the rest of the stuff. I have nothing else really in mind. Unless I want to see more enemies with the yellow ring, but I don't really care. I mean, we've gone through all that before. It's old news at this point. And why did I want Laurel in particular? I kind of wanted to see how Evolved Laurel does against the Reaper. Because with the um, damage being reduced to 10, I wonder how much if I actually stay alive for a while. Hey! This is Limit Break. I find out with 13 in-game seconds left. Well, I'll have to milk this another time then. I'm gonna go with Tri Bracelet, huh? Since I don't, you know, plus 3%. It's got a lot of upgrades, so it must be a very strong thing. Might plus 1%. Interesting. Very interesting. Here's the Reaper. Let's go with Might plus 1% again. And a Mount plus 1. That sounds really good. There's still enemies showing up. Let's go plus 1, Might 1% 1, 1 again. And I think I'll take any amount that I see. Area plus 3%. I don't know how area works for that. I'll just take might. I could also take a random one. That's funny. Also, I can see myself slowly losing a little bit of damage. Let's go speed on Vandalier. So I can just collect some chickens and stay alive against the Reaper longer. That's funny. It can't hurt me that much. It always slowly hurts me and I have a ton of revive. So as long as I still have chickens, I can stay alive. And I just want to make it to 31 minutes, even though... I doubt it'll really make a difference. All funny. Yeah, keep sending in these regular ass enemies. That's what I want. So cool, now I know what Limit Break does. It'd be cool to actually take advantage of that during a game. What are up with all these other enemies though? Didn't they get the memo that the game's over? Go home. Stop trying. You've done the best you could. Yeah, but I mean, I also have to stop trying. How funny. I don't think I need to milk this further. I'm not going to kill the Reaper here. And I already did on this map anyway. Okay, I unlocked a new character. Two other things. Oh, I unlocked that weapon, of course. And I got 500 gold coins. Wow. So Tri Bracelet still paled in comparison to the Vandalier. And also, let me see what I unlocked for the secrets. Because I know I actually did it. I got Ambro Joe normally. Now I got Cosmo. It's a bird. Has hidden weapons? Well, I guess I'll find out what that means next time. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is cool stuff. See y'all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.